Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. Middle Giant The biggest fight of his life, his career. Obviously, uh, you know, against a very tough Canelo Alvarez. You know, I, I think Canelo beats him. But uh, right. what do you say I, I just think Canelo's much better, much stronger. Uh, Canelo's a very strong fighter. He's learned so much. He's improved so much uh, in the last couple of years. I, I just think he's unbeatable. But uh, but uh, just the fact that that Caleb Plant was able to to do the best numbers on national TV in the last couple shows or years or a couple of years or whatever, that's great. That's great to see somebody accomplish that. So. So it, it would be a pretty interesting fight. I think a lot of people would tune in, but I pick Canelo. I pick Canelo winning the fight. Decision or I think Canelo wins by knockout. Knockout. I think so. Canelo's just too strong, man. Canelo. Canelo has been looking very strong, very fast. His defense is unbelievable. I think uh, Canelo has improved so much. I think. I think he. Uh, he beats most of the most of the top one one sixty eight pounders. You think he walks him down, or how do you think he? I he think he'll break him down little by little and, and and stops him in the late rounds. Do you think? Uh, Caleb poses a threat. I know he's really sharp in there. I think I think I think box. he always. I think he does. He's very strong. He's he's very very good boxer. I think he he could hang in there. So so I don't think I don't think he's one of the guys that's gonna get knocked out in two or three rounds. I think it'll be towards the end of the fight. Maybe even survive to 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 to, to lose by decision. But uh, but I think Canelo Canelo. Died. Canelo can fight anybody, and always will step his game up like he's fighting somebody. Right now, Canelo wears the banner, well-deserved, the king in boxing, and star power. Also in his performance, and cementing his legacy, fight by fight by fight by fight. Uh, every time I watch Canelo, even on his new adventure. I would get more impressed that I thought that I seen him at his best ringside with cover love and, you know, fight after fight. He's getting better. For future opponents, that's can, dangerous but it's also good for the fans and it's good for his legacy and it's good for boxing. Um, to me, Canelo can do no wrong in this state of being at the head of conversations in every hood that I know of and been and talk to people, whether it's on the phone or whether it's in person, they talk about Canelo. They talk about who he's gonna fight and who he should fight. That says a lot. What Back in, in Philadelphia. What happens in that Caleb Plant fight, in your opinion? Say that again. What happens in that Caleb Plant fight, in your opinion? Don't go to the refrigerator for any desserts or any kind of beverage. Um, Canelo in five rounds. Five. Breaks him down. Five rounds. Breaks him down. And if he lasts more than five rounds, uh, I will personally. Um, see you at another fight and apologize to all the millions of people that's uh, uh, viewing this um, interview on both networks. How about a salmon? Eddie, we want to get ahead of ourselves, but also Canelo does want to fight Caleb Plant if he does yep, get yep. past the Eldrum and BJ Saunders. What do you think about that? Another fight? good fight. You know, Caleb Plant is an exceptional fighter. He's a great mover, uh, has good fundamentals. Just don't see him beating Canelo Alvarez. I don't, you know, Again, I've been watching boxing for 33 years, live. Never seen anything like it. You know, I've, and I've watched Mayweather fight. I've watched, uh, you know, greats, heavyweight greats, Mike Tyson. Uh, I've watched uh, Naz, Nazim Hamed. I've watched Joe Calzaghe, you know, Brits before us, Mexican fighters before us. I've watched Pacquiao, I've watched uh, Marquez. I've watched all these guys live. I've never seen anything like Canelo Alvarez. What chance do you give Caleb Plant? Yeah. Good chance, because he's a world-class fighter. He's elite, he's like, you know, he's a brilliant fighter. So, always a chance, but something's got to go wrong. Do you know what I mean? So you've got, to, Canelo's got to perform badly. 
prepare badly, maybe have some problems outside the ring. I don't know, something like if you get the best Canelo Alvarez against the best Caleb Plant, Canelo wins 10 times out of 10. The same, I think uh, Caleb Plant's gonna end up in the hospital. Uh, and the reason I say that is because uh, if, you, if you look at Caleb Plant, um, he has very fragile hands. And uh, when he fought Uskategi, like in the eighth round, he got really marked very bad. And he, he looked like he was in a super tough fight in one round. And don't get me wrong, he did win all the rounds. Maybe he lost that round, but he got marked very bad and he got cut. And uh, I'm thinking that even though if he stays and fights Canelo, if he hits Canelo with a good punch, he's going to end up uh, messing up his hand, maybe breaking his hands. He has very fragile hands, and I think the key for him to win is to tap, 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 maybe fight like an amateur and just win, win rounds. But if he gets tired, man, I think Canelo's going to break him down, and hopefully he doesn't get his hands injured, because otherwise, imagine fighting with one hand or maybe both of the hands broken. You can just imagine, bro. Canelo's going to destroy him. That's my opinion. That's what I think. Uh, I just hope I'm not in training camp, but I can sneak away for the weekend, you know, come up and check out the fight in Vegas. I think that um, it's going to be phenomenal, but I think that it'll be great. Canelo Alvarez is a phenomenal fighter. Caleb Plant is a very skilled, very athletic, very technical by fighter. So it should be a pretty good fight. I think it's going to be, I think that Caleb Plant won't be afraid of him, for sure. And I think that's the best part about it, that he will not be afraid of him. not saying all the other guys were. But I think that they could not match his speed and his, his, his ability. So I think Plant may be able to match that. Sure. So we'll see. You think that's going to be the thing that's going to shock Canelo the most? That he won't be scared? I, I think that he won't be fearful. And I think that he will, the speed of a Plant. He's and fast. The, yeah, Plant's fast. But Can Canelo's been faster than all the other guys. Mm. This is one of the guys he won't be as fast as, I believe. So you think they're going to match evenly when it comes to speed? I think that. I think that Caleb may be possibly a little bit. He has so much to others, man. He has so, I mean, I mean, I've seen him fighting amateurs. I've yeah. seen him fighting amateurs, and I mean, he's been a, he was like, like this, for the Olympics, he was the Errol Spawn partner for the Olympics. Yeah. So he's he's a great, phenomenal fighter, man. Very tough guy. Yeah. I think I think plan to give him a little trouble in the beginning with the boxing and he'll be moving around because he'll be you know he's young and he's fresh and he's gonna have those legs so he's gonna move around for the first couple of rounds but I think eventually Canelo's gonna land some really good body shots slow him down and then once Canelo slows him down and plants not gonna be able to use those angles in that ring as much as he would like I think then you know Canelo's gonna start throwing bombs away and um, you know I don't think plants defense is as as, as sharp to uh, avoid the, the, the speed and power that uh, Canelo has. But I'm not counting playing out. He's a good fighter. I think he's going to look good in the beginning. It's going to be a great match to watch, but Canelo, obviously, not just saying it, he's going to knock him out. You've been pretty accurate with your predictions. Yeah. What's your specific prediction for this fight? I say eighth round. I think their corner throws in the towel. No, eighth round for sure. What you see? What you make of a Caleb Plant? Obviously, saying those statements, going on his Twitter rant. Oh, oh he's an idiot. Out. That's why I want him to get knocked out. Right. Because you don't claim everybody's cheating. That's stupid. What do you make of if Caleb Plant steps in the ring with Canelo? Styles wise, style wise, he's a, like I said, he's a very good fighter. So he'll complicate things for. For Canelo for a few rounds, but I think eventually Canelo picks up the pace enough that he'll stop him. Because Canelo is very big and strong, and he is very good. But for the early rounds, I think Caleb can can probably uh, make it difficult. He's gonna box. He's got skills. Ten raised against Canelo Alvarez. Just box smart, box hard. You know, I mean, I think he's I think he's capable. Um, the thing about Canelo is he's. You know, even with that step back, he's still a pressure fighter. He's still just waiting to drop that power shot, hit you with that body shot, hit you with that uppercut. He is a legitimate power puncher. So, you know, one of the biggest keys to victory is don't get caught by that power, you know. Um, look, I, I love the matchup. I love so many matchups that are happening now. 
Uh, I think the, the sport is just coming back into almost that heyday kind of energy. Everybody knows that, you know, um, I, I, think, I think the Mayweather stuff is over. You know what I mean? Staying undefeated, you know, it's, it's going to be more back to that MMA stuff. You win some, you lose some, you get back in the ring and you do it again. Great champions, they fall and they rise back to the top. Wait, what do you think? I think it's going to be a great fight, uh, entertaining fight, and I think that a lot of people are going to see that um, Caleb probably has a lot more than more people, more, more people think. I think Caleb has a great chance of, you know, making this fight entertaining. I, I still lean toward um, Canelo right now. I think Canelo is just actually the best fighter in the world today. What do you think is going to surprise people the most about Caleb Plant's performance with Canelo? Well, I mean, I just think that he's going to be able to hold his own. And, in, 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 I mean, with, with each round, I think that he's going to be able to hold his own until maybe he gets overwhelmed by Canelo. I mean, what's going to be overwhelming? Well, I mean, I think that if um, Canelo starts landing body shots and things like that, I mean, the fight can change. And talk about the stage. You think, uh, obviously, Caleb has had some big fights, but talk about the stage at this level, too. I mean, it's just, I mean, there's just, just totally different levels in, in regards to the level of guys that they fought. So, I mean, of course, that's, that's in um, Canelo's favor, without a doubt. But I just think that it should be an interesting fight. I think that it should be a very interesting fight and um, an entertaining fight. So, and now, if you're asking me who who do I favor in that fight, I, I got to ride with Canelo. I don't think anyone beats Canelo right now at 168. And it's not just because of who he is and his attributes. It's because of his experience, his intelligence. He's a ring general. He's a ring commander. Um, but also his activity since since December. You know, having three fights since December, that's a big deal. It's unheard of in this era. I think that so he's, he's sharp. He's sharp. That year layoff rejuvenated him. Absolutely. Him body, that rest that he needed. Made him hungry, too. He was itching. He had the itch, man. It's like, like I get let's get in, in there. Yeah. I don't care. Let's get in there. He went straight to Calum Yeah. So, I, you know, that seems so long ago. Right? <laughs> yeah, but it was. It wasn't even, it wasn't even a December. year ago. Yeah, it was December. Yeah, I know. But that's that's great that he's fought this month. Like in seven months' time, he's he's you know he's got three fights under his belt and he's aiming for number four. That's that's how you do it. I wish more though. But I, I think it gives him an edge. The, I think it gives him an edge uh, versus all these guys. That and the quality of his opposition. It's usually pretty good. People gave him crap for Yildirim, but Yildirim's a tough guy. Right. You know what I mean? Um, but you know, um, usually, I mean, Yild Yildirim is the soft spot. Um, and, um, you know, usually Canelo's in there with, with, with world champions, guys who are bringing titles to the ring, you know, guys who have never lost. And that's when that's that's like the norm. When that's your your average opponent is a is a is a world champion, um, you know, who's in their prime. Um, you're you're going to you're just going to have an edge that other guys aren't feasting on B-level fighters, you know. So I, I just think that's Canelo's edge against all of his peers at 168 pounds. I'm excited for it. All the belts. You should be. The first time that they're gonna Mexican history right there. If it happens. Yeah, maybe the hist first time in the history of the super middleweight division. Oh, well, for sure it is. Yeah, I know I know Calzaghe won all of those belts, but he didn't hold them all at the same right. time. Yeah. And it'll be history, too, if Caleb Platt wins. It'll be, it'll be something That'll be crazy. huge. That'll be, be great. Huge. An American an American star. Yeah. Dude from uh, Tennessee. Is he Nashville? I think he's Nashville. from Ohio. Ohio? Well, if he's from Ohio, then I gotta, I, I might have to no, root no, for him. No, I think you're right. No, <laughs> well, you know what? Nashville's all that. I like, you know, I, I like it. No, it's, it's. Yeah. When's the last time we had, had, a, had a dude, an American from, you know, kind of like the heartland, for per se? Yeah. And he has a great story behind him. With sure. His, you know, beautiful daughter. Yeah. Constantino Garcia here for Little Giant Boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on social media at Constantino Garcia.